Peanuts sat up suddenly. Was it time? The clock on the dresser said 11. She shared the room with her two-year-old sister, Samantha, who was fast asleep. Peanut lay back down. No, it wasn't time yet. It was 11. Peanut opened her eyes. Was it time? She raised herself up on one elbow. Nope. The clock said it was half past 12. Not impressed, Peanut dropped into the bed and went back to sleep. Dax, the family dog, raised her head and whimpered. Hmm. Why did Peanut keep bobbing up and down? Dax looks like um, he's a Rottweiler. Peanut got the nickname when Daddy Max, one of her grandfathers, had given her the name. As he said, she was as small as a peanut when she was born. Peanut's full name was Sabine Clementine James. Clementine, uh, yeah. yeah. Lady name. But she got called Sabine only when she was in trouble. Kind of like Colin Michael Santana. Full government name. He's in trouble, yeah. At eight years old, she was still the smallest among her family and friends. Her size bothered her, but not enough to prevent her from doing the right thing whenever she could. One more time, Peanut woke up and checked the time. Was it time? And again, it was not time. The clock mocked her and said it was only three o'clock. Peanut looked at Dax. When will it be time? She went back to bed. I don't think Dax will know either. Peanut was fast asleep when Sam toddled over and opened one of her sister's eyes. You up? No, Peanut grumbled. Then she remembered and sat up. What time is it? And that is Samantha right there, little chubby, and it's three o'clock. Sam knew the question and she knew the answer. She knew her numbers because Peanut had taught her. She squealed, seven! Peanut got out of bed at last. She managed to beat her three brothers to the shower, got dressed and was in time, sorry, and was in the kitchen in record time. Peanut has, she has plenty siblings, boy. Hey, Mom greeted her. Where's Sam and Dax? I put Dax out and Sam's over there, Peanut pointed. Ready for the online session, Mom asked. Peanut nodded eagerly. So, tell me what does PAHO mean, Mom tested her. PAHO means Pan-American Health Organization. WHO means World Health Organization. UWI means University of the West Indies. Peanut answered the question, even though her mom had not asked. Well done, mom praised her. I hope my question gets chosen by the professors, she munched on her breakfast. You still won't say what your question is, mom waited for her to answer. Peanut thought about it and then answered. I asked, why is it called COVID-19? Ooh, good question, mom commended her. I'm sure they will pick you. Then you must let me know the answer because I don't know why either. I ain't know where mom's living, but okay. <laughs> mom put a glass of juice before Sam and Peanut. So you have an hour. What are you going to do? I planted carrots, onions, and tomatoes in some old shoes. I'm going to water them, Peanut announced. Mm, toe jam vegetables here. Yeah? Yes, I've been watching them. Soon we'll have some that we can use. Just remember to stay in the yard, Mom said. Yes, Mom. Peanut left to get the job done and Dax followed her. Dax followed Peanut everywhere. The dog lay down and watched as Peanut filled the watering can and made multiple trips to water her garden that she had planted in old shoes and boots. Gross. I don't know who does that. Hmm. Finally, she was all alone and she went to the room that she and her brothers were using as a classroom. Today, the room was all hers. Hey, Peanut joined her friends on the computer. Peanut and her friends call themselves the Lucian Six. Sound like a gang. <laughs> a gang. Yeah, a gang. <laughs> they were Mandy, Yasmin, Anton, Christian, English, and Peanut. English's true name was Alexander, but everyone called him English because he used to have an English accent. Her alias. He no longer had the accent, but the name had stuck. Peanut attended the Jean-Baptiste Badeau Combined School. Schools were closed because of the pandemic, and now class was via the internet. Just like here. 
Jean-Baptiste Bido was a Saint Lucian who saved the life of the great liberator of South America, Simon Bolivar. Now, as an aside, boys and girls and parents, Jean-Baptiste Bido actually saved Simon Bolivar from drowning, and he's a hero in Saint Lucia and I'm Venezuela. They just celebrated 200, and I think, three years since his death or whatever. He's a big deal. Anyway, back to story. You also, you almost missed the start, Mandy. Her best friend scolded. I still have five minutes, she grumbled. Hush, we're starting Christian Hist. Christian little cranky. Today, the schools of the Caribbean were going to get to chat with Professor Marshall Zan from UWE and Dr. Michelle Wolf from PAHO. Questions had already been submitted the week before, and today they were going to hear the answers. There was a moderator. Good day, students. I am Professor Amanda Bliss from the University of the West Indies. Now, Amanda Bliss looked like Donna Cox to me, right? Anyway. <laughs> we received your questions, and they are all very good ones. Dr. Wolf from the Pan American Health Organization, PAHO, and Professor Zan from UWE are going to try to answer as many of your questions as they can. When I call your name, you can ask your question. Ready? Everyone waited. We will start with Sabine James of St. Lucia. Peanut, 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 peanut could hardly believe it. Professor Bliss had called her name and she was first. Hello, my question is, why is it called COVID-19? Dr. Wolf answered, this is a very good question. COVID is short for coronavirus and 19 because it was discovered in 2019. Dr. Bliss called on the next student, Bahamas. Candace Williams. What really is COVID-19 and where did it come from? Cor oh, no. Coronaviruses are a large group of viruses that cause respiratory infections. The latest one is COVID-19. The others are the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, or MERS, and Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, SARS. No one knows where COVID-19 comes from, but scientists are investigating, Professor Zan answered. No, Professor Zan looks like Jake from State Farm, right? Hi, Jake from State Farm. <laughs> what are you wearing, Jake? <laughs> Cockies. <laughs> Dr. Bliss called on the next student. St. Kitts, Trevor Braid. What can you do to avoid catching it? <laughs> How do we keep it out? Wash your hands. Don't touch your eyes, nose, or mouth. Wear a mask. Cough in a tissue, then throw it away in the trash. If you don't have a tissue, then cough into your arm. Like if you're doing a dab. dab. Eat fresh fruits and veggies. Stay home. Do not listen or pass on rumors. That's a tough one for Chinese. Take your information from the Department of Health in your country, Professor Zan listed. Bliss called on the next, sorry, Dr. Bliss called on the next student. Trinidad, Douglas Passad. Why must I wash my hands for 20 seconds? Why must I wash my hands for 20 seconds all day when I have not been outside? Okay. Our hands are one of the places that tends to be dirty because we touch a lot of things from holding a shopping cart to tickling the dog. We ask people to wash their hands for around 20 seconds to rinse away any germs and reduce the risk of catching something and getting sick. Soap is more effective than hand sanitizer at protection. But if there is no soap, it will work, Dr. Wolf responded. Okay. Now, this is Dr. Wolf, right? I don't know how Dr. Wolf so young, but, well, maybe Dr. Wolf went to medical school when she was 12. Wow. Dr. Bliss called on the next student. Dominica, Jody August. Why is it important to wear a mask? Should babies wear masks when they go out? Governor Andrew Cuomo of New York said it best. You wear the mask not for yourself, you wear the mask for me. It's a sign of respect to other people. You know how you show love. 
by wearing a mask, Dr. Wolf replied. Dr. Bliss called on the next student, Belize, Leslie Hunter. Like, how long does COVID-19 last in the body? That depends on the person. Age, gender, and other health issues can affect how long a person remains sick. Recovery will depend on how sick a person is to begin with. Some people will shrug it off very easily and quickly, while for others it may stay a while, Dr. Wolf answered. Dr. Bliss called on the next student. Jamaica, Dean Saunders. Senior say, if you catch the corona, the, the virus, what's the best thing to do? Are the teacher or the student? If you think that you're exposed, then you must isolate yourself. That means you must stay in your room for at least 14 days. You must have a separate plate and cutlery, like you have chicken pox. Every time you use the bathroom, it must be washed down with bleach. But most important, you must stay away from the people that you live with or they may get it too, Dr. Wolf responded. Dr. Bliss called on the next student. St. Lucia, Anton Maturin. What are the symptoms? How do you know whether you have the virus? I don't know any St. Lucian, so I don't know if that's what hey, they hey, tell. Hey, hey, hey. The most common symptoms are fever, cough, and shortness of breath. Other common symptoms include chills, muscle pain, sore throat. Not everyone will have all symptoms and fever might not be present. Some people show no symptoms and we call them asymptomatic, Dr. Wolf replied. Dr. Bliss called on the next student, Grenada, Errol Francois. Is it possible to become immune from the virus? Errol sounds like he's real old. Well, mm. you see Errol's picture. Errol have a high Errol have a real sick feed. Yeah. yeah. Right now, there is no evidence to show that people who have recovered from COVID-19 have antibodies that will protect them from a second infection, Dr. Wolf answered. Dr. Bliss called on the next student, Grenada, Miranda Dean. Does eating garlic give you a better chance of fighting the virus? Can certain foods prevent the virus? There are no miracle foods or diets that can prevent a person from catching the virus, but we do encourage everyone to be eating healthy by eating fresh fruits and vegetables, Dr. Wolf responded. Dr. Bliss called on the next student, St. Lucia, Amanda Luisi. What is social distancing? Why do we have to stay at least six feet or two meters from each other? And if someone at my home has COVID-19, will I get it? Whoa, those are lots of questions, Dr. Wolf laughed. She sounds like she's Stephen Cummings from um, <laughs> 91.9 or something like that. Yeah, good questions, Miss Lady. Let's take them one by one. Social distancing is when you maintain a physical distance apart from another person. See? Not six feet, but social distancing. This is done so that the virus cannot jump from one person to another. If the person is at home, is not keeping away from you, then yes, you can catch the virus. Or maybe I should say that the virus can catch you. Dr. Bliss called on the next student. St. Lucia, Anton Maturin. Is there a cure or vaccine? If not, when do we think one will be developed? Why are vaccines taking so long to make? There is no cure or vaccine, but many scientists around the world are working very hard to find one. Right here in the Caribbean, Cuba is working to discover one. It is taking a bit of time because we need to understand the virus. Then, there are many steps to making a vaccine. Then, it must be tested, and if it does not work, then the scientists have to keep making changes until they get it right for us mm -hmm. to use, Dr. Wolf replied. We remain in St. Lucia as we take a question from Yasmin Edwards, Dr. Bliss said. Why is school closed? When can we go back to school? Professor Zahn answered, COVID-19 likes people. It really, really, really likes people. The more people it can hang out with, the happier it is, because then it can get more people sick. There are lots and lots and lots of people in schools. 
So, to make sure that the virus has no place to stay, schools had to be closed. Thank you, Jake from State Farm. <laughs> Dr. Bliss called on the next student. Haiti, Jean-Luc Martelli. Why can't we go to the beach? We can leave if the people get too close. Je te plie, plus. <laughs> so many people like to go to the beach and the park. We play soccer, well, for us as football, cricket, chase after frisbees. In the excitement, we forget that we must do physical distancing. And so it was decided that just for a short while, these places will be closed. But we will go back soon, Dr. Wolf answered. Dr. Bliss called on the next student. Bahamas, Arthur Worrell. Uh, why do my mom and dad still have to go to work? Some people are so very important that we cannot live without them. Just like you love and need them, we do too. People who pack the shelves at the supermarket, the garbage collectors, the bank tellers and shop cashers, as well as police officers and firefighters, doctors, nurses, and ambulance drivers. We call them the frontliners, and they are very important people, the VIPs. So if your parent or guardian is a frontliner, you should be very proud of them. They are true superheroes, Professor Zahn explained. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Dr. Bliss called on the next student, St. Vincent, Donald Grenville. Uh, how long will the world take to recover? What happened to St. Vincent? Hey, the Vinci Kush. No. <laughs> no one really knows the answer to that question. But most people agree it may take some time for us to get back to the way we were, Dr. Wolf admitted. Dr. Bliss called on the next student. Antigua, Corinne Fisher. Why do so many in the countries, in other countries, have COVID-19 and some places like us have so few confirmed cases? Sometimes it is good to be tiny. Our islands don't have as many people as other countries and this has allowed for an easier management of what is happening. That doesn't mean it has been simple, just easier to manage when compared to others, Dr. Wolf answered. Dr. Bliss called on the next student. Puerto Rico, Esperanza Lopez. Aye. Why has the country been on lockdown for so long? <laughs> I... <laughs> Mommy. The health system of a country, any country, can deal with so many persons at a time. As Professor Zahn said, the virus really likes people. If we stay inside, then it cannot get around very quickly, and the health system will be able to manage. It feels like a long time because the virus is still out there, waiting for us, Dr. Wolf responded. Dr. Bliss called on the next student. Jamaica, Rona Jackson. Shenzia, if there are no more cases of COVID-19 in the country, why are we still on lockdown? They said that all 15 people recovered, so why can't I go to school? Lord mercy. Shenzia sounds chilly. Hey. Okay. The fact that they may not... Mm, this is Dr. Wolf. Hey. The is fact Dr. that they may not have any reported cases at the moment does not mean that there are not more cases to find. It also means that because there seems to be no more cases, that does not mean that COVID-19 is not out there waiting to pounce on us when we peep out. We need to remain inside until the doctors and scientists tell us that it is safe, Dr. Zan answered. Dr. Bliss called the next student, Jamal Ben Salim from Trinidad and Tobago. Jamal's question was one that was of great interest to Peanut. She had a pet too. He asked, can the virus attack the animals? What about my pets? Professor Zahn answered, there are lots of things that we need to learn about COVID-19. There have been some cases where pets have got the virus, but we need to study this a lot more. We all love our pets. I have two dogs and three cats. So just to be safe, keep your pets at home with you. That's what I do. As I don't know if he send his, people send their cats out to work, but... Or to school. Dr. Bliss called on the next student. And now we have the last question, and it is from Alexander Hamilton Smith from St. Lucia. I am just a child. What can I do to help? I want to help. All the children nodded. I'm going to list seven things that Professor Zahn said we can do. You should be doing them already. 
But if you are not, you can still do them. Dr. Wolf started the list. Number one, wash your hands and between your fingers. Number two, avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth. The virus can enter through them. Number three, cover your mouth when you cough and sneeze with the bend in your elbow or a tissue. Throw the tissue in the bin. Don't leave it lying around. Four, avoid crowded places. Avoid contact with people, especially if they have a cough. Mm -hmm. Five, stay at home. You may have the virus, not feel sick, but you can get others sick. And if you're sick, don't go for any wise. Six, if you have a fever, cough, and difficulty breathing, get medical attention. But call first. Don't just walk in. You can get others sick. Seven, avoid fake news, videos, and voice notes. Get information from trusted sources. And that was our last question. Thank you so much for taking part and asking so many great, great questions. Goodbye, Dr. Bliss said, and the others waved. Phew, that was a long session. My bum hurts, Anton said. I agree, Anton. The only thing was missing was prior and astronaut news. <laughs> Mine too, Yasmin agreed. The internet is good, but I miss being in the park, English lamented. Bass keeps telling me that being at home and doing schoolwork means getting good grades and coming out with A's. Peanut repeated what her eldest brother had told her. Bah, Christian said. <laughs> and that's, that's the end, end of, of the Peanut's adventure. 